Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I was feeling a little bit snarky and wanting to put out kind of a funny video for you, so I decided to do things not to say to an infertile woman. Probably most of you know not to say these, probably most of you have heard these things, so if you want to laugh, just keep watching. So the first and worst thing that you can do is complain about your pregnancies. Just don't do it to your infertile friends. That's terrible. They would chop off their arm to be in your position. I've been pregnant before, so I know that the nausea is terrible and you can't sleep and you have to get up and go pee and it's bad, but it's the wrong person to complain to. I can't sympathize with you. Go pick one of the other hundred of pregnant women walking around us right now to go complain to. They will be perfect to do it. Along that line, don't complain about how easy it was for you to get pregnant. My husband has had to look at me or I was on birth control and he used a condom and I was on my period and we still got pregnant. Darn it. I don't want to hear it. I just don't. What about when people tell you to stop getting or stop trying and you'll get pregnant? I love that one. Just stop. Don't have sex. Don't take meds. You'll get pregnant. So annoying. I know how it feels. It took me three whole months to get pregnant. You don't know. You're not infertile. You're actually way within normal. If you say that, I'll probably laugh at you. It's the truth. What about just adopt or use a surrogate? First off, there's nothing just about either of those. I love adoption. I'm totally open to it, but it's another long, hard, trying process along with surrogacy, expensive, more meds, more infertility treatments. People don't know what goes into those before they just let it fly out of their mouth. <sighs> no. Now, with secondary infertility, I hear this all the time. You should be content that you have one child. And you guys, I am. I love that I have my son. The longer we go through this journey, the more thankful I am that we were able to have him. But I also would love to have more. And I would love for him to be a sibling. And that's not bad for me to want that. But people don't get it. Nope. Nope. Try this. Dot, dot, dot. I have a doctor. And I pay him good money. And he has a degree, and he probably knows more about how to get pregnant than your old wife's tale. Chances are, I've already tried it all. I have eaten stuff, taken vitamins, stood on my head, full moon, you name it, we've tried it. Just stop. Stop with the advice. I didn't ask for it. <sighs> Do you guys have anything else? What have you heard that's crazy? Leave it in the comments below. Bye.